In this lesson, I will be showing you how to navigate RStudio. There are many components in this software, and this will be a simple introduction. As we move through the lessons, I will introduce different components and functions as they are needed. But for now, let's just look at the basic setup. When you open RStudio, you should see this basic layout known as the workspace. Anytime you execute code or add files, it becomes part of this workspace. On the left, you'll see a big window called the console. This green arrow here is where we type lines of code, which R will execute. This is the same window you see when you open up the base R software. On the left, you can see some smaller tabbed windows containing lots of information about the current R environment. Environment contains a list of data and objects that we assign through the console. For example, if I enter in A equals one, we now have a new variable in our environment. Sometimes this environment tab is called the workspace tab. I think it just depends on the version of RStudio that you're using. So the next tab contains history, and it actually lists all of the previous commands I have executed through the console. So you can see most recently, here's A equals one, the last line I executed. If you double click on a line of code in the history, it will populate the command line in the console, but it will not execute. You still have to press enter for that to happen. For example, if I double click on 5 minus 15, we can now see it at the command line. If I hit enter, it will return the value negative 10. And we can see that that most recent line of code has been added to the bottom of this list. The next tab is help, and this is very useful for when you're searching for certain packages or functions and you're not exactly sure what the name is. You can just enter a few key words and look for all the functions that contain those words. Now let's look at the tabs on the bottom small window. First we have files, which shows all of the files and folders in the current working directory. We will talk more about what a working directory is soon. The next tab lists all of the plots that were created with the ability to go back and forth between the plots and export them as different file types. The next tab is packages and shows us all of the packages that are currently available to us. You can adjust the sizes of these different panes by dragging these dividers back and forth. So there's one to divide the two different columns and for the row on the right. Now let's open our first script using the white button with the green plus sign. So we can see it up here at the top left and I'm going to start a new R script. Here we go. So a new pane has appeared and it sits on top of the console. All of our scripts will open as tabs. We can easily go back and forth between them. This new window holds all of our scripts, and it's basically a code editor. It allows us to build code which we can execute in the console line by line by using this run button, or we can run the whole script at once by using the source button. So let me show you how this works. This script is going to be creating two variables, A and B, and also C, which is going to be the summation of the two previous variables. Now I'm going to save it real quick. I'm going to just save it as test script.r. I've already written this before, so I'm just overriding it. So now we have this new script here that we've saved. Anytime it says untitled, it means it has not been saved yet. So I can close it. And I'll close all the tabs actually. And now I'm going to open the last script I just created. So that's how you save and open scripts. So now let's talk about the run and source buttons. I can run each line individually by hitting the run button, and each time I do it, the cursor, this red blinking vertical line, is going to move down the different lines. So I've just submitted all three lines, and you can see that they've executed down here in the console. And now if I go to my environment, we can see these three different values. Clear the environment. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we source the script. You're only going to see one line was entered into the console, and that's source test script.r. It created all three variables for us, so it worked very well. There's some helpful tools for this code editor. If you want to search for a piece of code, just click on the magnifying glass, and you can find all the different places where that occurs. And you have the option to replace whatever you're searching for with something else. I want to replace the letter A with E, and I want to replace all. It will tell you that it replaced two different occurrences. Now my A has been switched to E. In this lesson, I gave you a brief introduction to the RStudio layout. 
I suggest you spend a little time becoming familiar with the environment and try using some of the features I have yet to mention. There are a lot of tools in this software and it will make learning and working with R very easy.